What's good, everybody? All right, so today I just saw this. It says Vanessa Bryant and her daughters debut two new Kobe Nike Air Force One colorways. Now, it was addressed earlier that they were going to be creating some Air Forces, and off rip, I didn't really know how I felt about it because just thinking, right? I, I was trying to think, like, how, like, what can we do to make these Air Forces like decent without them being too basic because my idea of an air force just from like <laughs> what nike would actually give us i would just see like a regular air force with like eight and 24 on the back maybe a gold swoosh um maybe like some purple accenting here and there but i didn't think like what could they actually make that's like oh no i actually need those um and off rip seeing this right here seeing the kobe logo on the toe box right here i think this is fire now it does look like they're overly creased already so it does look like this type of leather would be kind of creased and i don't know i don't know how good that would look overall with the pattern on it but let's just continue to see um what they have planned for the air forces because if if they if they go the route of making air forces i think that would be that would be pretty fire you know it gives it gives people the chance who who like want to support kobe i guess another avenue or another route to try and do that especially because there's a lot of people who like kobe but i'm not gonna pay a pay for a basketball shoe that's like virtually impossible to get you know what I mean? So, but is at least if you give us an Air Force, at least I can rock the Air Force. You know what I mean? So, let's get into the article and see what it says. So, the legacy of Kobe Bryant continues to be honored both on and off the court, especially around Kobe Day, which falls on August 24th. Um, a nod to his iconic jerseys, jersey numbers 8 and 24. As part of this year's celebration, Nike and the Bryant family took the opportunity to highlight some of the top high school basketball talents through the Mamba Invitational. Actually, one of my friends um he actually went it was actually pretty fire i seen a little bit of it on his ig so it's pretty dope i didn't get invited but i mean i'm not a hooper so and he's a coach so that's the only reason he got invited while the event paid tribute to kobe's lasting impact on the game it also served as a platform for new sneaker reveals uh vanessa bryant and her daughters were spotted showcasing two fresh nike air force one low colorways each featuring distinct kobe inspired details the first colorway seen on the kids pair closely resembles the upcoming Kobe Air Force One low and white. So I'm guessing this one right here. So yeah, wait, is this kids only? If this is kids only, that's trash. That's so trash. That's so trash. And the reason why I say that is so trash is because realistically, right? One, if it's men and kids, then okay this will be a lot better because whoever's the fan gets to buy their kids the shoe but there's not going to be a lot of kids that are you know supporting coat like not supporting but like are really like tuned in with what kobe was about um and even if they are i'm more than certain that they're not a, a size seven which is the max kid size so uh if this is kids only i think that's that's trash and then like, really this whole release doesn't matter um, gold accents highlight the swoosh, so they did exactly what I just said. Gold swoosh, <laughs> some purple accenting with the laces. Like, it's, it's only so much you can... I wouldn't say it's only so much you can do, but just from how history repeats itself, Nike isn't... I don't know. They just don't give us exactly... what They're, they're pretty predictable. I'll put it like that. Um, so, while a subtle pur purple outline borders the swoosh on the midfoot... What sets this version apart is the Deboss Kobe sheath logo, which is repeatedly imprinted across the upper, so it's what's on the toe box, giving a more dynamic te texture and deeper connection to the Mamba legacy. Um, I, I wouldn't say all that. I do think that it's a, a really nice detail to have on there, um, which I feel like almost you kind of have to because there are shoes literally like this already. Literally, we have the, um, the Griffey Jr. and Senior Air Forces, and those are... <laughs> are so similar to the Kobe Air Forces. I, I'm not even gonna lie to you. When those first came out, I sold those as Kobe Air Forces because people didn't know. Um, and they had the, the 24 on it. So obviously I, everybody just assumed they were Kobe Air Forces. Boy, I, I ain't gonna lie. I had a lick on a couple of people, I ain't gonna lie. But 
Is it really a lick? No, because are you really a fan? Because if you were really a fan, you would know. But I digress. Um, this detail, which appears on the lateral hill on both the upcoming white and black colorways, is spread across the entire upper. Now, what are these? So I guess, okay, so we're going the Mamba route, I guess, with the snake skin. Um, I don't see the Kobe logo on it. Um, I don't know how I feel about these. I really don't know how I feel about these. I, so Vanessa wore these. Um, I, I think that these need to have similar to a detail kind of like this to make it separate from just a regular Air Force. And I think that's that's what a lot of I think that's what a lot of the Kobe's kind of like mess up on, especially the newer ones. Like, like, let's put some <laughs> some detail and design into it. But uh, yeah. So for Vanessa's Brian's version, the design takes a more striking approach with an all over iridescent snakeskin upper that nods to Kobe's black Mamba persona. I didn't know it was iridescent. I guess, okay, you can kind of see the iridescent. So like right here where you see that like kind of like fading into like a faint purple, you can see more on this shoe right here. That's the iridescent. Um, so I, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. The shimmering snakeskins add a luxe feel to the classic Air Force One silhouette, while Mamba branding is subtly incorporated through an added lace debris, bringing the theme full circle. Um, I don't, I don't see any, I don't see any details. Maybe we have to have a better look. While it's currently unknown whether these Kobe Nike Air Force One lows will be released, honestly, <laughs> I didn't know this either. Talking about worn by Vanessa Bryant, anything that that Vanessa has worn, we haven't received, uh, which is, I don't know. I mean, it's her husband, so I mean, respectfully so, but uh, like I said, Nike is very predictable. If Vanessa's wearing it, more likely we not getting it. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, so while it's currently unknown, da da da, we do know that the two previously mentioned white and black colorways will be dropping sometime in the holiday 2024 season. So these are the ones that I, I already knew about. Um, oh, so here's a, here's a picture of them. Or a video. Wait, can we full screen this? Can we not full screen? They're they're okay. I gotta I gotta see more details on them because it from this from this view and just the view in general it looks more like a if you know you know type shoe, which in which I personally like if you know you know type shoes because it really it really tests who knows ball for real but for something like this where you're trying to appeal to a mass following and they have um they want to see like the connection between what's gravitating them towards the shoe so if you're gonna call it a Kobe shoe what's that detail that's gonna gravitate all these people and I feel like you need that some some sort of detail like that to hook these people on and I don't think a name is really all you can do because obviously we, we're we seeing that right now we have Jordans we have Kobe's and just because it has their name attached to it doesn't necessarily mean that it's a good shoe and I feel like especially with the more we're releasing these shoes at the rate that we're releasing them at I, I feel like you need to do more than just attach a name to it so um, but I do like if you know you know type shoes but if I were to wear a Kobe shoe, I would want people to know that it's a Kobe shoe. Like for me, like I'm not, I wouldn't say that I'm not a Kobe fan, but I have like, I don't have the urge to buy Kobe's. Like all the Kobe's that have came out, I've copped majority of them for retail. Um, I've had some in my collection. I've even worn some and I sold all of them. I don't like, cause they're a hoop shoe, so I'm not gonna wear them. And my dad was a Kobe fan, but me, I wasn't like crazy on it. So if I was to get something like this, I would want people to know that this is a Kobe shoe, but it doesn't do a lot for me for it being a, if you know, you know, type shoe, because I'm not connected to that fully. So you, you can see where this is really important in this type of scenario. Oh, now, okay. Are these the, oh, but these are the kids. Ex these are fire. Nah, these, these Kobe's are fine. I didn't know it was going off, bro. <laughs> nah, these are tough. Why are these kids exclusive? Literally, why are these kids exclusive? These give me clot vibes. These give me clot vibes, bro. Oh my God, these are actually super tough. I would wear these. I would wear these. And it's crazy because I, 
I may or may not have an event coming up that involves something with Kobe. May or may not. I don't want to get people's hopes up high. I don't want to get my hopes up high. But I was just kind of brainstorming, bro, because Vanessa might be at, it might be here. So it's like, I wish I had a pair of Kobe's that I could wear. And she'd be like, dang, like he got those. Because I've had had some Kobe's where it's like, yo, you're not supposed to have those. But they're all basketball shoes, so it's like, and it'll be a party type event if she pulls up. And so it's like, <laughs> we can't wear hoop shoes <laughs> with party attire, bro. But something like this, bro, you can dress down. Oh my God, bro, this is fire. This is actually super fire, bro. Let me, oh my God, bro, these are fire. Uh, okay, before we end the video, I gotta, I wanna see if I can pull up the, the original. Oh, wait, this isn't gonna give it to us. Pause. Uh, nah. I thought there was a link with the original ones. But yeah, man, those... Oh, wait, here it is. All right, let's see what we can find. Oh, let's see. Oh, wait, are these just... No, these aren't the same, because that leather is just already different. Um... Yeah, these are, these are just way worse. This this is what I had in mind when I was talking about in the, in the beginning of the video. Yeah, they're going to have a Nike swoosh with some purple accenting. Uh, there's probably an 8 and 24 in the back, and then you got a, a Kobe lo logo stamped on the side. But these... Wait. Let me go to the... Oh, my God. I didn't know it was all across the shoe. That's fire. These are way better than these just offered by these two photos alone. But you guys can let me know how you feel about these shoes in the comment section below, man. These are fire. Um, you can let me know how you feel about Kobe adding, or I guess Vanessa adding, Air Forces kind of to the lineup. And also, I think I want to make a separate video because I know there's been talk about should Kobe like make their own line and have like athletes signed to it. I think that would be... It, it's a conversation. It's definitely a conversation. Um, so yeah, let me know all you guys' thoughts in the comment section below. And with that being said, I'll see y'all next video. Peace.